All right, so I want to give a huge shout out here to Torik GC for making the uh, 2.5 turn clear video initially. So I got the you know idea straight from him, um, the exact same team and uh, everything like that. So shout out to him, and I'm gonna link his channel in the description. And I wanted to just preface this before the video, uh, just so he gets the credit uh, that he deserves, obviously for having the team idea from the beginning. So yeah, man, definitely make sure to check out uh, Torik GC, and uh, let's hop into the video. What's going on guys, your boy Amazing, we're back with another video, and in today's video guys, we're going to be doing the ultimate essay coin dungeon guide for you guys, um, with or without the red hair Elizabeth, so let's hop into the video. Alright, so we're just going to get straight into the video, um, let's talk about team comps guys, and then we'll actually go into the runs, I have two teams here that I'm going to be showing you guys in terms of what uh, you're going to want to run for this fight, um, so the thing is with the essay coin dungeon, uh, it honestly just does depend if you do have this character or not if you have the red hair uh, Elizabeth the red version um, She's gonna be the one of the best characters for this event uh, Just because of her passive right here So when an ally uses a skill in the time limit dungeon it deals additional damage equal to 40% of the enemy's uh, HP increased by a unique or buff so anytime they have a gray buff on top of their health bar and You know Elizabeth is in your back line. Sh she's gonna give your whole team 40 40% more damage dealt uh, onto those type of enemies so just having her in the back line on a team can be very very beneficial um, but this team right here is going to be a 2.5 turn clear team you guys might be wondering 2.5 turn how does that work amazing I'm going to be showing you guys in the actual run so you know we'll see um, but yeah though this is one of the teams here this is with Elizabeth the best team with Elizabeth uh, in terms of the card set I'm running the damage dealt card set one thing to note about both these teams is that these teams are not auto so this this team right here with liz uh king you know uh, arthur and chandler is not auto and then this uh, second team right here which is not auto as well um is going to be without liz so this team is going to be the team without liz the only way you guys can run a team uh that clears like as fast as this team right here um is gonna be if you guys are running uh a 6-6 six, six festival king um because of the way uh, king is structured here um with his abyss ultimate if you have 6-6 six, six king or even 6-6 six, six rimuru i think 6-6 six, six Rim uh, rimuru would work as well um but if you have 6-6 six, six king or rimuru um you know this is going to be one of the better teams you can run if you don't have liz because king ultimate can bypass the the second phase and kind of just one shot the boss so you know it's definitely something to take into account uh, but it does take a lot longer running this team uh compared to this team let's say um because with this team right here uh, the unfortunate thing about this team is that you know you're you're alt sealed for the first like two turns so i think this this team is like a four or five turn clear team uh, while well, this team right here is just a guaranteed 2.5 turn clear um, so yeah, so that's kind of like the rundown of the teams in terms of gear sets by the way Liz doesn't need a gear set because she's in the back line uh, King right here is on attack crit damage with Sarya link um, So you just want to make sure you have attack crit damage and then obviously your regular attack HP uh, Defense percent rolls um, same goes for uh, Arthur here except he's gonna be on HP You can run him on attack crit. Um, it really doesn't make a difference. I mean you know whatever you have your gear for him if you have like hp attack whatever the case it really doesn't matter you're gonna guaranteed 2.5 turn clear with this team regardless um obviously as long as your your characters are built enough um but yeah and then moving into chandler i just gave him attack crit damage you really don't have to you know uh give him anything too crazy i give him attack crit damage so that uh when you get to his counter which i'll show you guys in the actual run um it just does a lot of damage so that's why i like to run uh, chandler here um but we'll talk about it and in terms of my chandler himself he's actually the only character here that i I've not like invested in, in terms of cosmetics so that goes to show like you guys really don't need outfits on uh, Chandler let's say um, you probably will need on Arthur and King um, but that's just from my testing at least you guys let me know how it goes for you uh, specifically and I mean with level 100 you probably won't need outfits because that will probably make up for the deficit um, so yeah this is with a full level 90 team by the way as well so that's some, something to take into account so I'll show off this team first and then we'll, we'll show off this team right here um, obviously same type of gear sets attack crit damage on King HP defense on Gother, um, You know HP defense on Arthur and then uh, you know no gear needed on death pierce But HP defense if uh, if you want um, So yeah, so that's basically the rundown of the teams guys Let's actually hop in now and I'm gonna show you guys both the runs for both teams We'll start with the with Liz team and then we'll do the without Liz team 
All right, so before hopping into the actual coin dungeon, I wanted to show you guys the actual time limit on the dungeon and the reason why it's so important to clear as fast as possible. The reason why you guys want to be clearing as fast as possible on this fight is because um, the clock of tower, the clock tower of eternity is actually 30 minutes long. And so because of that, you want to be able to get as many runs in as possible, even though, um, you know, uh, the runs themselves, it's only limited, I think, to 12 runs total. You guys can actually do this little trick, which I'll show you guys, which, I, which can actually bypass it and uh, get you guys more rewards so we'll show you guys that trick at the end of the video we'll just show you guys the the, the team comps at first and just to give you guys an idea of like how fast you can clear with both teams and uh you know the strategies and and, and uh that i'll explain basically so let's hop in all right here's the team guys i put a uh, coin food just because uh, i want to basically show you guys that there's no food needed so if you did put food let's say you would definitely clear a lot better um but yeah you don't need food at all um you run the team the way it is and uh we'll hop in all right, loading into the fight here. Um, you guys will start off with these bugs right here, right? Um, but what you're gonna do, uh, very crucial, make sure you guys start uh, from king on the right. So you wanna have your team sorted in the, this exact same positioning. So you start from king on the right and do all three of these cards on the right here. So you do the king sever card, followed up by the, ping, uh, the king power strike, and then followed up by the AoE with Arthur there. So you guys will see, it does a lot of damage. Uh, basically kills the uh, enemies right there in one turn right so we've already done the one turn part uh, of the fight now moving into the boss itself for the stage um, all you guys gotta do here um, and it's simple um, you really don't need card RNG so what I'll do here is I'll show you guys without card RNG so normally this would have been a rank one so what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna do this this and then this uh, you know counter right here rank one so I'm just gonna show you guys uh, what it looks like uh, with rank 1 skills so that you guys can see that this is a guaranteed uh, 2.5 turn clear So we put up the counter right there with Chandler and as you guys can see the boss is block affected and defense related down So as he attacks into Chandler the counters with Chandler are gonna do a lot of damage You guys can see 179k damage right there. And so because of that um, this is technically a you know um, a 2.5 turn uh, clear team because we kill on his attacking turn so that's why it's kind of called that um, but yeah that's basically how the team rundown uh, goes so basically all you guys got to do is just click from the uh, from the right all, all like there's no real strategy with it um, all you really got to do is click from all the cards on the right we'll do one more run here and then I'll show you guys a uh, uh, two runs uh, with the uh, festival king team the other festival king so literally guys I'm just gonna click from the right side we got no merges so it's just gonna be perfect so literally you do these three cards right here first right and then you follow up with these three cards right here so these three second these three first so one two three and then you guys are gonna use these three cards right here so the Arthur single target um you can put up the counter first or this card or use it it really doesn't matter um, but all you got to do is just make sure you use it in this order let's say so yeah, it's fairly simple, no RNG needed, guaranteed 2.5 turn clear with this team as long as you have Liz backline. That's what I really like about this team because it's super consistent uh, and it definitely gets the job done. So uh, yeah, man, uh, here we go. So you do the single target, you do the counter, and you do the single target with uh, um, Chandler right there. And you guys can see, no RNG needed. Fairly simple in terms of actually clear. And I think it's a really, really good strategy as well if you guys are trying to clear uh, the dungeon fast and, uh, you know, optimize as many SA coins you can actually uh, achieve there. So, um, yeah, so we full counter right there. We're going to full counter again, and then one more full counter will actually get the kill there. So, yeah, man, fairly easy. No RNG needed, guys. Guaranteed two turn clear, which I really like about this team. 2.5 turn. Um, so yeah, that's basically this team. Let's hop into the second team now and I'll kind of give you guys an idea of how that team works uh, in terms of clearing the fight. Alright guys, so this is the team that we're going to be using here with the no Liz comp. So as I explained, um, you do not bring uh, the red hair Liz like this team right here, uh, like this team right here. You just bring Death Pierce backline with uh, these two characters with the old Festival King or you could do Rimuru as well. As long as the Rimuru is 6 out of 6 or 5 out of 6, I think 5 out of 6 is probably bare minimum. Um, you have to be running attack crit damage on your DPS character here. So on King here, I am running attack crit damage. Um, but yeah, so let's actually hop in here and uh, I'll show you guys how the run actually goes. So, all right, so we've loaded into the fight here, guys. And with this team, the main thing you guys want to be doing is pushing for a King alt. The thing is with this fight is that when you get the ultimate on King, 
you're actually going to get alt sealed for another two turns which is a you know a big detriment to this kind of team right here um that's the main problem with this team as well um but the whole point of the team is that you're trying to stack Golther stacks uh while pushing ultimate with go through there so you can uh you know make sure that uh, you're able to one-shot this phase and also one-shot the second phase in turn, right? So now we got to wait another two turns now um, Stalling so what I like to do is just move cards save go through dissolve so that they can't get their gauge um, So, you know what I like to do as well is like to rank up go through um, You can use his dissolve and then just like move a king again. You don't want to get ultimate on go through necessarily um, not that it really matters, but you don't want to get Gother's ultimate because uh, it will take up card space, I guess. Um, you want to like mainly top deck dissolves. I mean, if, if you do get Gother's ultimate by the next phase, it's fine because um, next turn um, I'm going to be killing regardless. Um, so you know we can dissolve again just to make sure they don't get an ultimate, and then we can just move cards again. But yeah, like right here. Um, we've done a lot of dissolves now. We've stacked up Gother passive a lot, and now we're actually able to freely use um, the Festival King Ultimate now. So what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna use the King Ultimate, and you guys will see that it's gonna do an insane amount of damage on these enemies, and in turn will kill the following enemy. So that was what a, I think it's a five turn clear. I think if I'm not mistaken. So we dropped the ultimate there, 1.3 million, right? Uh, we do get a gold drop there, which is really nice. Uh, but does a 1.3 million alt damage and because of the way abyss works um he's actually going to die the moment we load into this uh turn right here so uh right after we use our cards so we do our little attacks here so you know you could just do a bunch of single targets um it really doesn't matter um like you could have just completely ended your turn there and he would have died uh but if you do want to just like you know put in a, a few extra attacks maybe if your king's not six out of six um you definitely feel free to um uh, but yeah once it goes to his side you can see he takes 800k 800k damage right there so he's dies and uh you know you get the clear there on the sa coin dungeon so um that's a run right there um i don't think i need to show you guys another run that's kind of like the you know the rundown honestly for this team the rundown um but yeah like that's basically it in terms of this team and now let's actually talk about the strategy in terms of getting as many sa coins as possible so i'm going to switch back to the list team this also works in turn with this festival king team as well but i'm going to show you guys with the list team first so you guys can get an idea of how it actually works Alright, so we switch back to the list team, guys. The exact same strategy as before, but this time I'm going to be showing you guys the way to optimize your SA coins so that you're getting as many SA coins throughout the fight. So let's load in here. Um, we're hopping into the fight, and what we're going to do when we load into this fight here is we're only going to be using these three card skills, and depending if a box drop happens or not, we're going to reset the run or we're going to continue the run. So you do these three cards as usual same strategy as if you were doing the uh you know the regular strategy there so we do the aoe sever we do the power strike aoe and then we do the aoe um with arthur right there and then what's gonna happen guys is if we get a box drop or not so you guys can see we got a box drop if it pops up here on the top left corner that you got one then you can move into the next fight and kill the boss so what i'm gonna do here is i'm gonna do the do the rest of the fight here i'm gonna kill the boss as normal so we'll kill the boss and we'll do another run where I don't get it and I'll show you guys exactly what you want to do. Um, but basically, all you would really do there is just forfeit. So you would go to the uh, pause menu, you'd press forfeit. The moment you see that there's no box drop, you forfeit the run and then rehop into it. So I'll just con uh, I'll just finish this run um, and then I'll show you guys a rerun here. So uh, I'll, I guess I'll just skip past this because you guys know that we're going to get the clear. So we'll move to when I'm actually in a situation where we're not going to get the box drop and I'll show you guys how that goes. As you guys can see on that run right there we actually didn't get a box drop and i didn't click the forfeit button quick enough but what you can do before the enemy runs into the fight literally just click forfeit the battle and reset you want to make sure you're able to get a box drop on both the first and second phase second phase is a guaranteed box drop but the first phase is not a guaranteed but if you can get a box drop on the first phase then that would mean by the second phase you would have a guaranteed two box drops per run so that's basically the whole strategy there in terms of you know optimizing as many sa coins as you guys can get um that's what i like to do in terms of running teams this is the best team with liz this is the best team without liz let me know in the comments section below if this video helped you guys um you know it's a fairly you know simple uh, strategy here obviously um you know you can definitely run like this team let's say uh without liz and you would still probably do fine i mean you'd probably have to switch chandler out um but you wouldn't be clearing like any anywhere near as fast as like this team let's say um but yeah man i mean uh these are definitely the best teams that you guys can use for uh, sa coin dungeon
now that the video is basically done uh i want to actually have to clear the rest of the dungeon now that i only have like well like 18 minutes left so i'm gonna wrap up the video here thank you all for watching the video i'm gonna be uploading the uh anvil guide as well later today so you guys will see this video and then the anvil video will be out a little bit after so thank you guys for watching the video i hope you guys enjoyed don't forget to like comment subscribe as always if you guys want to see more videos like this definitely let me know in the comment section below and i'm gonna see you guys in the next video peace out and have a great rest of your day